Hello Explorers, welcome or welcome back. So this is the July week three game video. So it's paycheck number three and this is the savings game video that goes along with it. So we have, we're gonna set that aside, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 50, because we have 25 ones over there for Uno. And I kept this 10 separate for a reason. So let me set this up really quick. And I did cut this a little short in money, so if we need more for any reason, I can definitely take extra. Like, I, I have more. But I wanted to see if this would be enough first. Okay, so if you're not familiar, this is the supermarket sweep where I take what I have budgeted for grocery for the week, which is $150, and I see how much we're going to take and save out of it. So it's a three. We lift off here, so one, two, three, that is $5. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll again because I don't think we're going to need all of our grocery money this week. Four. One, two, three, four. And that's seven dollars. The reason I don't think we're going to need all of our grocery money is because my in-laws, as I said in the paycheck video, my in-laws get here on Saturday and normally our paycheck has to last us um Wednesday to Wednesday or Thursday to Wednesday however you want to look at it but it really only needs to last us until Saturday although I am stuffing this early because it's Monday right now um because we pretty much overspent this weekend um so I am stuffing this slightly early but it's still gonna only end up being a week because of the fact that once they get here we'll be at their timeshare we won't need grocery money so seven and five is 12. So I need to take 12 out of here. I'm gonna have to get change. Um, let me just make change from this. So we'll do 10, 15, 20. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so 10, actually I'll do this, I'll do 10, 11, 12, 12. So we're putting $12 into this grocery savings. My goal is to have this complete by Oogie Boogie Bash because I want to take us to um, do a character dining the day after Oogie Boogie Bash since we'll still be in Anaheim and we have no plans. Um, do a character dining at Disney Land. We've only done a character dining there once before at Goofy's Kitchen for Lennox's first birthday. So that was four years ago, and obviously Lennox doesn't remember it, and I doubt Wrigley does because he would have, if Lennox was one, Wrigley would have been two and a half. Yeah, Lennox, Wrigley would have been two and a half. So he definitely doesn't remember it either. All right, so we are done with the supermarket sweep, and you can get that on my Etsy. Next, we're going to go to shut the box, because this is really why I'm doing the game video first. Um, I want to see what we're going to have left over. Two. Great. Not starting not very strong, are we? That is not the right marker. Five. Ten. $10. 
10 again. And 11. Dang it. Okay, so we owe this 18. And I'm not going to put the money in right away because I'm just going to keep track of how much I need to put in there because I've given myself $50 to work with. Four. Five. <laughs> oh, no. We are out of all the small numbers for the most part. Nine. At least we got that nine out of there. Come on, give me an eight. Eight. Can we get a seven? Okay, what are the chances? Okay, I can technically roll one die. Can we get a six? We got a five. All right, so we owe it seven. Okay, we are halfway to what I have allowed for this. So I'm going to try and go ahead and do this to finish this up, even if that means we don't get to play the villains game, because I um I want to make this credit card payment before we leave for Florida. Because as soon as I come back, my actual payment is due. And I would like to have this um, extra payment in before that generates. Yeah, you're definitely going to hear my kids in the background because they're just, they're being really loud. What did I just have? I just had seven, and I did... I did seven and two. I had seven, right? Hold on, I have to go back and look at the footage. Okay, so yeah, this two is still open. That's eight. So we have two, three, and four left. And we got a one. So I owe four, five, six, nine. All right, and we are going to finish this game. So let's see.
So we owe, I owe 11. So I came in $5 under what I had allotted for this, but I only planned on doing two rows and I got four done and still came in under budget. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I owe, shut the box, $45, which is not bad for four rows. Um, I did mess up last week, so I only shut the box on the second go around. So the first go around, uh, what happened was I marked off the three and I should have marked off the two. And the reason that I messed it up is because I actually said, oh, I'm probably going to regret this. I probably should have done five and three. And because I said that out loud, I marked off the three. So I should have actually marked off the two. So I guess technically I probably owe it like $3, I believe. I don't know exactly what I would owe it. Um, because it would have changed the entire game. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Just to acknowledge that I didn't actually shut the box last week, but I'm not about to redo that. I put in $5, so I technically still put in more than what I had left on the board. Um, even if I hadn't shut the box, I'm pretty sure, so. I owe this 20, 40, and 5. And I didn't even, you guys, I didn't even get the, uh, I didn't even get the binder down. This is how on top of things I am today. This is really fun though, and I'm going to print another one, and I'm going to do this for the foreseeable future. So now we can finally count how much is in, shut the box. Let's see. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 120, 122. So I'm making an extra payment of $122. I'm actually just going to take $2 out though and make it $120 um, because of the way my tracker is. So yeah, 120 going towards my credit card. So I will set that aside because I will make that payment today. So let me, I hate this pen. It's, it doesn't click right anymore. Okay. So we finished this on seven. What is today? Uh, 17. And it was $122. Oh, that is so exciting. Okay, so I will put that with the completed savings challenges. And we will um, definitely do that one again. So let's go to Slytherin. We've got our deck of cards. They're so stiff they don't like fold it all. Okay, well that's good. And we have the ace. So we're gonna do 11. Um, I debated on doing this as one, but I live in Vegas, you guys, and aces can be one or 11. So we're gonna go with 11. I guess if I pull it on a week that I don't have much funds, much funds, many funds, then I might make it a dollar. I don't know. We'll see. But I actually budget for 11 because that's the highest I can get in this game. So I was prepared to pay 11. Ooh, that's barely a one. So now in the Slytherin savings game, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. 60 dollars in here. That's not too bad considering most weeks I only pull one card. I think there's only been two times that I've pulled two cards 
and that was because one of them was two dollars um, let's go ahead and do the oogie boogie game and this is going to go towards uh paying for uh, costumes which my daughter already got her costume for Oogie Boogie, Oogie Boogie Bash I took it out of her savings so once this is complete um, I will replenish I will put that back six five and six and we're actually gonna do I think I made this to where I can do Yes, I can roll again. One. Four. So we're going to put back a one, take a five. I technically um, allotted 18 for this, so if we can complete this one as well, that would be great. And it rolled off the table. One. Okay. Looks like we're going to finish two today. I don't know how you get that many ones in a row. But let's see what we have brought in on Oogie Boogie. Because we just completed two savings games. This is really exciting. Because now I can pay that back to her savings account. 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. And her costume, I believe, was like $19. It was $28 originally, but um, Target had it on sale. Don't ask me how $28 comes all the way down to $19 when it was only like, like 30% off. I guess that makes sense. Um, no, it doesn't make sense. That's still way more. But whatever. I'll take it. So it ended up being like $19. She just got this like cute little Ursula dress for Oogie Boogie Bash. Because Oogie Boogie Bash is all about villains. Um, and so she chose Ursula because she saw... We had seen that dress at Target previously. And I said, well, if we get Oogie Boogie Bash tickets, like this dress would be perfect. Because it's long sleeve, but it's still very thin. And it's a dress so if it ends up being chilly because October is unpredictable it could still be in the hundreds here in October or it could be cold so uh, the long sleeves are perfect because it's thin but if it ends up being chilly I can always put black leggings underneath and it'll go perfectly with it or purple leggings um, but it's super cute maybe I'll insert a picture but that's what she wanted because my kids are very much comfort over anything else like they don't do big elaborate costumes last year Wrigley picked out skeleton pajamas. Um, he wore those for one Halloween thing. And then the very next, like when we actually went trick or treating, he ended up wearing uh, Miles Morales pajama, like a onesie pajama set. And Lennox ended up wearing her ghost spider pajama set. So they went as ghost spider and Miles Morales Spider-Man. Like my kids are very much comfort over anything else. They do not care. So let's, Put on here, this was, I didn't put when I started it, but we finished it on 7, 17, 23. And how much did I say it was? 51, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. 51 dollars. And that will go into costumes. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll put back what I took from her savings for this. Uh, or with this and then the rest I'm just gonna put it into holiday um, because I'm not gonna have a separate envelope for costumes specifically but yeah that's exciting and so I don't know if you guys saw I did have I do have this one ready to go to take its place because I'm just gonna do another one because I really enjoy doing these they're quick easy little savings challenges especially if you only use one six-sided die so that is done that is done I don't know what did I end up putting in there so that I kind of know where I'm at with my challenges 6 10 11 12 13 
$14 and I allotted 18 so we are currently we currently have nine dollars extra let me do this let's go to the back of this this is why this 10 was separate so this one is a star note so we are going to put it in with our star notes so now we have 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 dollars in star notes and this is going to be a super long-term savings one that isn't going to bring in a ton of money uh just because it's only when i find star notes Aside from the time that I found that 50, like I spent that right away because there was no way I was taking $50 out of, um, oh, this 10 is so raggedy though that it like, it's just folding when I try to put it in there. Um, there was no way I was taking $50 out of savings challenges. So let me get, we have that tracker. So we're going to do, I just was debating and I'm still not sure if I want to mark off 10 on here. Or if I want to just do one and put that it's 10 and do this basically per bill. Mm, I wanted to do it as like per bill. So basically I would have done just one and then put into the star that it was a 10. However, I'm just going to do 10 stars because I it's already going to take a long time to do this. And I have plenty that bring in a lot of money. So... When this one's completed, if you do it where each star is worth $1, then you will have 100 at the end. Okay, so that is 15. It's starting to look like maybe there isn't 100 stars on here, because if that's 15, I feel like there's no way. But that's, that's what I put on there when I made it, that that was 15. Um, we're going to skip this one because I forgot that I had ordered a back to school one. So we may go back and forth each week, but I'm all, I'm just gonna put all of it into the same challenge. So let's do this back to school scratch off. Cause I realize I don't have any other scratch offs in here right now. I do not know what this one brings in. This is from Cindy cat budgets. So this is 15. I had ordered a 4th of July one from Syndicat Budgets, not realizing that like by the time it was created and shipped to me and I received it through, you know, snail mail, that it was going to be way too late to start a 4th of July one. And that is completely my fault. Like I just waited way too long. Um, and I was still going to do it because I'm like, eh, it, it came actually a couple days ago. I was still going to do it because I was like, that's okay. It's, you know, I still have two weeks left and the next paycheck, I'm going to have a lot of leftover since we don't need, um, grocery money or gas money or anything. However, uh, I didn't realize it was for $200. I thought it was a hundred and yeah, there's no way that I was going to finish a $200 scratcher in two weeks. I just, I wouldn't even want to finish a $200 scratcher in two weeks. Um, so I'm just not going to do that 4th of July one right now. Maybe I'll do it in September because it's just kind of a patriotic one. Maybe I'll do it in September or I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll save it for next year. So we put 15 into the back to school savings challenge. Um, okay, so now we're going to play Villains. And we don't have very much to work with because uh, for some reason I did not actually uh, budget for back to school. So we're going six down, five across, <laughs> twenty dollars. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to stop there because that's twenty dollars. All right, so $20 going into Villains. And at the end of the month, Villains will get emptied and it will go towards, is this car maintenance? I may put it, I don't know. I might break this one up and put it towards multiple things, uh, multiple sinking funds, because I just, 
I have other sinking funds that are going to need money too. So yeah, we are definitely done with that one because we are, 20 was actually what I had allotted on this one. So let me get set up for Uno because that is the last thing we have to do. Okay, before we get started on Uno, I did go ahead and look at my receipt for Lennox's costume and it was $19.60. So we're going to go ahead and put $20 in there because I believe that's how much I ended up taking out of her savings. So we put that back in there. So now going into holiday, we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you know, I don't like to deal with ones. So we're going to put that into savings challenges. So what did I say was going in here? 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. $30 going in here. So we now have in holiday, because we remember, remember, ugh, can't speak. We just finished the hot chocolate challenge uh, from Golden Girl Budgets. And now we just finished the Oogie Boogie challenge. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we have 130 in holidays. 30 of this will be though, so that Wrigley can get his costume, um, which I just need to order off of Amazon because he wants to be Venom since obviously uh, like I said Oogie Boogie Bash is all about the villains so that's the villain he has chosen he loves Venom I'm actually I'm surprised but I'm not really surprised because he loves Venom um but he also loves Oogie Boogie like he's the reason that primarily that we're doing Oogie Boogie Bash so yeah. All right. Um, you know what? I'm going to try just leave. No, I like it here. And actually using the clear one was perfect because now we can see all of them. Okay. So first card is five, which is AT&T. Oh, it would be helpful if I moved the um, Uno money to the front. I'm not used to doing Uno first. Or like games before uh, doing savings challenges. Two is water. AT and T again. I need to move these ones. I'm so I'm so worried. I'm going to take the wrong ones. Three is internet. Six, wait, why did I put, I put these into, what did I do here? Hold on, you guys. Five is actually HOA. So HOA should have had $2 in it. Okay, six is AT&T. So now AT&T is getting one. Four is car insurance. It's different because when I made this tracker, I didn't put the specific company. I put the, like, I just put trash. I just put energy, etc. And so it's throwing me off because instead of saying Ford, it says car payment. Two is water. Zero is trash. And gas is almost fully funded, so if we can get $6 in a gas, that'd be awesome. Because then we can reallocate that. Nine is mortgage. We love it. We love putting extra into mortgage. Three is internet. One is gas. Two is water. Six is cell phone. Zero is trash. Plus two. So now four dollars. We have a plus two 
So that's $2 plus two, that's $4 going into trash. One, two, three, four, $4 going into trash. Seven, Envy Energy. Pick one. Uh, this is going to go into Envy Energy because I think we were only $3 away. Reverse and go into Cell Phone. Pick one. Envy Energy. Five is HOA. Five. Oh, and that was it. So we are out of money. So mortgage is only getting $1. I am not recounting all of this. There's 200 in there. So now we have 201. $1 going into Ford. So Ford has 1, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 155 into Ford. So Ford needs five more dollars. Three dollars going into Envy Energy, and I believe that means we can color one. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It does. $3 going into AT&T, and I don't know how much this one needed still, but we have 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so we get to color one in. I thought so. So we have three dollars going into HOA. 110, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we should have 17 colored in. Three, six. We get to color one in. I actually did not think we would. We have $1 going into Progressive. So we have 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 72. Uh, we should have 14. I don't believe we get to color one in. Uh, no. No, we wouldn't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we need three more dollars. So $2 going into Cox Internet because we just reallocated this last week. So we need two more to color one in. $3 going into water. So we for sure get to color at least, or we for sure get to color one in. So now in water, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have $2 going into gas, so we get to color one in. So we only need four more dollars to finish this tracker. So now in gas, we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I don't know what I was thinking when I made these trackers because it shows this tracker is not complete, but my goal was only $37. I'm just going to go ahead and finish it, though, because I know that my bill is more than $37. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Inflation. I think it was just because of how many, like, I made the trackers and then decided... And if I would have made them a dollar, it wouldn't have been enough. So, so a lot of these are a little bit over the actual goal amount. 
one, two, three, four, five, six dollars going into trash. So now in trash, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we should have nine colored in. Okay. And so what I've decided on this one, because my trash did go up a couple of dollars, but if I make this $3, it's going to be way over what I need. So what I've decided is all these small ones are going to be $2 and these two big ones will be three, but I will wait to color these in until the end. Because if I were to do these now, then when I go to just do my math, it's going to be all messed up because we never put like the exact amount that's needed in when we stuff this. So I'll do all the $2 ones first. And then at the end, I'll know that the last two need to be $3. So that is it for Uno. I will see you guys back here for the savings challenge video. So until next time, bye. Okay, I lied. I'm back. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a debt update. I did make that $120 payment to my credit card. I wish I could say it went down $120, but it only went down, I think, like $40. Because when I made my last um, extra payment of $85, the interest had not hit yet for the month and the interest came in, it was $58. And then on top of that, it, I had my yearly membership fee of $39. So it basically wiped out the payment that I had made, the extra payment. Um, so when I made this $120 payment, it brought me down to 200, or I mean, $2,269. Um, but I went ahead and added an extra $9 so that I could mark off the next. So we're getting a mark off $60, which you guys, ah, it's horrible. It's horrible. The fact that I've made a hundred, uh, 200 yeah, $200 payment so far, $210 extra. And I've only marked off 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 140. It's sad. It's really sad. <laughs> but that membership fee is only once a year for $39. And then hopefully next month, because of these extra payments, my uh, interest will not be as high. Because the very next paycheck, I will make my regular monthly payment of $85. So ugh, we, we're moving in the, the right direction, though. Because before it was, we were moving up like $10 each time. Now we've at least, we've gone up a hundred and what I say, $140. So that's good. And it'll just, it's daunting. And this is why I've avoided it for so long. But it's something that now that all my bills are caught up and almost, um, almost ahead. So while my month ahead binder is not complete, because of having these extra, these magic months where we had the extra paycheck, a lot of my bills are actually almost a month ahead. They're like two or three weeks ahead, which may sound odd, but that basically what happened is before my bills were paid like exactly when they were due, now um, they're paid like a paycheck early. So that's what I mean when I say they're two weeks early. Instead of them getting paid with the paycheck right before they're due, the way that they used to be, or sometimes maybe a couple days late, depending on how the paycheck and the bill fell. Now they're getting paid like an entire paycheck early. Or for instance, my car payment, or I mean, my car insurance is not due until August 9th. And I believe it'll get paid next week. So it's like a whole three weeks early that I have it funded. So now we can finally start tackling this, but I had to get my bills in situated first. So it's a long, it, that's why this is a journey and everybody's journey is a little bit different. But that is officially it. So until next time, bye.